Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Eye Kicks, a.k.a. the UI General, and we're back with another sneaker review. And man, today we have a classic, classic, classic sneaker on deck. We finally complete a pack. Before we get into this video, shout out to all my subscribers. We are almost at 500. Everybody that's telling somebody, everybody hitting that notification bell, turning them post notifications on, thank you. I really appreciate you. You guys are very special to me. So when we hit 500, I'm gonna start this giveaway. I'm gonna give them away a pair of sneakers as well, or I'm giving away $150 in gift cards. All my sneakerhead friends, all my you wildians out there, I know y'all can use this stuff. I do this for you guys. I do this for the culture. Again, I appreciate you all, but let's get back on subject. Today we complete a pack, and today we have on deck, we have the other half of the Stussy Harachi. It's one of their first collaboration shoes, and it was very dope. These Earth Tone Harachis were very dope at the time, and they're still dope today. I think they've done an excellent job on both pairs. I'll leave a pop-up at the top so you can check out the Desert Oak review that I did about a month ago. Fire, fire shoes. Thanks for the views on those. Thank you. So we have the Dark Olive Varsity Maze pair. So let's get into it. Let you guys get a view of the box. Let's see that label, see that old school box. And the label reads, Nike Air Hirachi LE, which stands for limited edition. And the colorway is Dark Olive and varsity maze in white and the size is a us 10 and a half and these retail for 120 dollars i cop these an overseas friend of mine helped me acquire these because they didn't release this pair right here in the states so i had to go phone a friend he hooked me up got that retail love there's still people in the community that's not resale 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 and shout out to y'all, man. Y'all keep the game going. This resale thing is just a trend. Resale would never stop, but it's still a trend. And that's it, man. Let's just open these shoes, man. Let's let's review these shoes. Let's get into it. And man, as we open it, whoa, bam. Yes, yes. Get a good look. Feast your eyes, ladies and gentlemen. These are dope. And from taking these out of the box, you can see the quality on here is pretty decent. It's real good, it's very premium. Premium, premium material. And wow, let's look at the other one. And we have something here, guys. We really have something. I'm so glad to finally complete this pack and to have these right here in hand. So, Let's just get on right into the review. So first, we're gonna start off with the box. It's just the basic. It's not really basic, but it's a throwback to the original box. Throwback from like 91, 92 with the orange. Of course, you got the bars right here on the side. Let's open this baby. Let's look at the front, let's open it up. And then you have that message right there. You have it in English, and I think that's French. And let's look at the tissue paper. You have the limited edition stamp that used to be on the Praline Hirachi, that limited edition. You have the international symbol because this sneaker, again, was based in the UK. So it is an international, the shoe is an international icon. And of course, you have that classic, classic Hirachi logo, which I think is pretty dope. As far as it goes, as far as what's in, inside the box, Nothing else, nothing less. Let's move on to the shoe. In this collaboration, Nike and Stussy came together and they used very good premium materials. I can honestly say that the uppers, the materials, the suede that was used, this is a good grade of suede. I don't even think it's synthetic. You can really see the brush strokes in it. And of course, that earth tone dark olive sets this off just right, right here on the lateral side. As well as you can see a little bit of the varsity maze in the spandex and a little bit of white right here in this panel in the middle and that off-white TPU cage. And you have that foam plastic kind of material right here on the bottom for comfort. It's very squishy, very foamy like. 
on the medial side, it's pretty much the same thing. Same color scheme, same color pattern, nothing different, just premium materials. Let's look at the back. On the back, you have that Nike Air, right? Well, you just have Air right here at the bottom. That clear T TPU cage. I know a lot of age pairs, it looks kind of tan, but that's because it's just age on the shoe. Pretty dope. Let's look at the front. And you have that beautiful, beautiful Varsity Maze right here on the toe part. And you have, and the toe cap, some more of that dark olive, which I thought was hard. Let's look at, let's go all the way up right here to the laces. You have white laces and you have a green Hirachi circle with the yellow, with the Varsity Maze right here on the logo. And the tongue is white as well as this sock liner is white. These shoes hug your feet. And this sock liner is real comfortable. We haven't even did the on foot yet, but I definitely suggest you going at least a half size up. Because of this sock liner, because of this one piece, it will fit pretty tight. All right, guys, let's look at the bottom. The bottom just has that dark olive, that dark olive green, and you have a little bit of white on it. Again, it's a nice earth tone. Overall, pretty dope pair of sneakers. Had to bring out the other ones. Which ones you guys think, which one is your favorite? I like the Desert Oak pair a little bit better because I like those brown, dark, earthy tones. I think that's tough in my opinion. But you guys tell me what you think in the comments. Are you feeling the dark olive varsity maze? Are you feeling the Desert Oak? I already told you how I feel about these. But let's move it along. Y'all know what we do around this time. Kids get rocked every day around here, B. Let's take these varsity maze things. Let's take these things to the streets. Overall, these feel good on feet. Again, as far as the fit, I definitely suggest going to half size up. The materials are premium on this shoe. The colorway is fire on this shoe. Definitely one to pick up. Definitely not one to pass. They didn't do good in the resale market because the popularity of Hirachis are not up. They haven't been up since 2014. But hopefully, this 30th anniversary release will kind of boost that back up. And if it doesn't, fine. It makes it easier for us OGs and lovers of the Hirachi. It makes it easier for us to pick these up. If you like this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And oh yeah, bang that notification bell, turn those post notifications on. We are on the road to 500. Like I stated in the beginning, we are at 483. It's gonna keep on rolling, we're gonna keep on counting. We're doing that giveaway at 500 subscribers. So stay tuned for that. This has been another You Wild production. I'm wild, you wild, we all wild, baby. Stay wild, stay fresh, but most importantly, stay safe. It's your boy Big Al Kicks, the UI General, and I'm signing off, y'all. Peace.